ABCD News, where we've been covering the story of a century. Moon Watch! What originally started as a suspected optical illusion has now been confirmed as true. The Earth's only celestial satellite is missing. Where did it go and what might this mean for you? We've got you covered with the inevitably catastrophic details all day. But first, our sports and culture report. Slugger, Tina, take it away! Moon, eat your breakfast, honey. It's getting cold. I like it cold. No, you don't. Where's your brother? Sunshine! Come on down, sweetie. It's breakfast time. And boom, don't slouch. It's bad for your posture. What do you care? What was that? Nothing. Ugh. I have so much to do today. What is he doing up there? He probably caught his reflection somewhere and he's stuck admiring it. <laughs> don't be mean. Am I wrong? No, he's just a boy. He's 4.6 billion years old, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm still considered juvenile for a red giant. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe you could get on him about his chores a little bit more. While well, you're stuck here outlining all my flaws, he's the one who's late to work. Maybe it's daylight savings time? It's not. Well, I'm sure we'll be down in a minute. Yeah, just as soon as he's done rehearsing his next big entry. Yes, family! What's up? I'll tell you what me! I'll study <laughs> your too much. I had to be real something.
How dare you come into our pen and try to break us up? You don't know these sheep and you don't know me. I have given my life for them. They're my family and, and you're about to leave them anyway, right? So why not let me take them off your hands? Wait, leave us? Often, what is my beautiful future exclusive dating partner talking about? <laughs> yeah, where do two babies come from? <laughs> How did you? That Farmer Jones sure does talk a lot. Must be lonely out here with nothing but animals, huh? Please don't do this to them. I should be the one. But you could, you could. You, you couldn't admit that you were leaving. I'm going to train a new herd soon, right? To get a new family of sheep to order around? I didn't. I, I don't want to. It's not my choice. But you're not fighting it, are you? You're just going along with the flow. Listening to your owner. Taking your next position like a good little automaton. And then what? What happens to them? I don't know. Well, I do. I can give them safety, security, a new way to live. I like living! And the two of us? <laughs> Tell us what to do, Chad. She, please. Sorry, Cupcake. Looks like your timing control is up. Advantage? Chad.
promise.
or my playing or any of that. It stopped being invisible, at least until I dyed my hair and actually started talking in class. <laughs> then all the heads would turn and giggling would start. Back in South Dakota, I was the one weird kid in a sea of normal. And it was lonely, sure, but I was left alone too. To write, to think. It's kind of cool being weird. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Andrew didn't see me come in late, did she? Really made him hear a lie that punk girl went through the hallways like some five foot Godzilla. You're not alive. <laughs> come again? None of us are alive, Avery. Living is an illusion. We are all in a sweet embrace of misery. Wait, how do you know my.
humanoid tangerine They're the ghosts of my ancestors, I bet <laughs> Many robots will lead us to ruin. Then a new day will dawn for those who stand strong and oppose all the mischief that you make.
passion for pop. Alternative! <laughs> <laughs> Please go on. And brings lyrics that give me nightmares. <laughs> Hell is real. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, I love how much you love being a part of things. Oh, thanks! Ari bought me cigarettes! I stole them. I love friends! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like I don't want to fit in, believe me, but I just don't think playing for one of you and hurting the rest is a way for me to go. Being an adolescent heavenly body. 
You want your freedom, but you're bound by gravity to your nearest planet. I know, I know, and I tried to explain. Not even mentioning the body of troops. It might have been a thought of time, but I still remember high school. Gosh, couldn't pay me to go back. But you were never like this, Saturn. I'm so worried. That little smarmy asteroid Patricia got a hate her! <laughs> Fatty? Sorry. Um, anyway, Moon's different. I've always tried to keep my distance. Moon's a different sort. They've always been so close to you, Sunny. Saturn! Speaking of the thermonuclear nuclear devil, there he is! <laughs> from the office and um, I had I had a few days off from the office so here I am. You were just talking about what was going on with the moon. Have they come out of the room yet? I'm afraid not, sweetie. Hey, what is their problem? You will understand when you're older, kiddo. <laughs> I mean the whole thing it just sucks, you know. Language, son. Sorry. I mean, look, I'm awesome, for real, but this whole thing, I, I don't know, it, it makes me feel weird things, strange things. It's this puberty. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just missed Moon, honey. Maybe. Yeah, I do. How are we going to get Moon back? Help, sis. I wish I knew how, buddy. Oh, wait! I do know how, but you're going to have to stay up a bit later tonight. Mom, is it okay if Sun stays out with this old, old lady sis for a bit? means getting our moon back, please take them away. Excellent! Um, I promise, I'll get moon back out in where they belong. Okay, hot shot, we've got some work to do, let's go. Yeah, hey, Sun, I think I
You know it. But I just needed some time. It was a phase. I'm sorry. <laughs> New moon, old moon, waxing or waning, I'll take it. But I think you're a good mom. <laughs> but how? I listened to you 
rant about oppression, brag about drinking an alligator, scream about kicking boys in the jewels. My Mel plays the flute. Where are her jewels? A new era <laughs> calls for new jewels. Maybe Mel's alleyways are education. Maybe online blogging provides Mel's nads to smash. <laughs>
What do you say, y'all? 